Welcome to Alive with Amanda. Today we're going to be talking about some trends that I'm seeing for mental health. So a couple of trends that I'm seeing is that people are not slowing down on calling for mental health services. I think the demand is as high as ever. I think that especially goes for two specialties, children, teens and children, and couples. We are seeing such a large volume of calls for couples that still continue to come in. A lot of times that's private pay and that has really uh, been a big portion of business calling. The other thing is teens and children. The Everybody I know that works with, with kids is full. There's a wait list. We have a wait list in our locations. We can't hire enough people. There is a shortage of people, especially to work with children and teens, and I totally get it. You have to work evenings, you have to work with the parents, you have to have a lot of supplies. There's a lot of extra things that go along with working with kids, so I get it. But there is a shortage, so if you are thinking about expanding your services, or you're just getting started and you're wondering what's a good niche for you, if you wanna get full pretty fast, work with children and teens. The next thing that I'm seeing is that people are going to continue to want to use your insurance, their insurance. Not that there isn't a market for private pay, there's always a market for private pay, right? But people are really going to want to use their insurance. People are much more informed about therapy being covered by their insurance and wanting to use their insurance and looking for a provider that accepts their insurance. So if you don't accept insurance, you definitely want to have a really good script that you talk to people about their insurance, maybe start doing courtesy billing for out of network or at the very least providing super bills for your clients so that they can get reimbursed by their insurance or at least you can go to, towards their out of network deductibles. And so I think having things ready about insurance if you don't accept insurance is going to be really important and if you are just starting out and you're wondering how to build a practice really quick fast accepting insurance is a great way to do that electronic health records like therapy notes makes it very easy because you can input everything in there you can check eligibility through there you can bill directly through there and it's pretty simple and yes there might be some clawbacks and yes there might be you know some issues but really in the grand scheme of things those can be so small if you have a good system in place that it is really low risk nowadays to accept insurance. A couple other trends, when it comes to insurances, there is going to, I think, be a push towards allowing for supervisory billing from all the insurances. As of now, as things stand in Florida, at the very least, it's only Cigna, and Aetna, and Medicaid plans. However, I think that as the demand for therapy continues to rise and there's not enough licensed professionals accepting insurance, I think more insurances are going to turn towards allowing supervisory billing, which would be fantastic because a lot of times our wait list is for the insurances that we can't do supervisory billing. So that would be fantastic. I think conversations are gonna to continue to be about mental health. That's gonna be in the forefront. I think a lot of companies are gonna to continue to push it. So EAPs might be very popular for people to join because there's gonna be a lot of business there. I think big companies are still going to be a part of the conversation as well. They're still gonna take up a lot of ad space on Google. They're going to really push, they're going to sponsor Podcast. I'm so surprised every time I listen to a podcast, there's you know a sponsor for a mental health company, and I'm like, I, I like. There's one part of me who's like, that's great. There needs to be conversations about that, and another part is like, I, my company would never be able to sponsor maybe a podcast at that level. So you know the competition is starting to look different, but that does not deter me. That just creates a new opportunity for us to continue to stay relevant. So for you and your practice, looking for ways to continue to stay relevant. I'm gonna talk about one more trend that I see happening for mental health, but first I wanna thank our sponsor, Therapy Notes. If you're looking for an electronic health record that's really full service, one that can help you run your practice, whether you're in person or virtual, they do have a free telehealth option. Whether you're private payer insurance, you can bill insurance through there, you can take credit cards, I want you to check out Therapy Notes. I love it for my group practice. I love the reporting. I talk about this all the time. At the end of the month when we review our KPIs or every single week when we, we have a, a dashboard where we update numbers, we pull the data right from Therapy Notes and it is so easy and I love it. So if you are a numbers person or you're not a numbers person, then that's okay. I want you to check out Therapy Notes for your telehealth or for your electronic health record. So going back to mental health trends, I do think there will be 
there will continue to be a shortage of mental health providers, especially at the agency level, because so many people have left for private practice, whether they're solo, they've joined a group practice, or they've joined a larger platform. Some of these larger platforms or larger companies will continue to buy up group practices. So a lot of group practice owners, myself included, have been approached several times to sell their practices. And I'm not selling my practice. I love my practice. I'm not I'm not ready to do that, but some people have sold their practices and these companies are coming in and buying up smaller group practice, small to mid-sized group practices. So you will see that. And I think that the solo practitioner, it will get a little harder for them. So you will have to have some admin support. You will have to really make yourself stand out from the competition that is from group practices. But I think with good marketing, a solid website, all of those things that we've talked about in my videos, you should have a good plan to stay ahead of all of these mental health trends. I'll see you soon, everybody. Bye.